Hey, forensic scientist. Um, this is Mr. Held. Um, the big assignment for this week um, is going to be uh, the end of our toxicology unit. We're, we decided, we talked about it. We were like, what should we do? We thought of what would be fun or something that might be enjoyable that you could do at home uh, that's more hands-on, that's, that's kind of different, is something called the Toxic Fairy Tales. So in this assignment, and, and I'm looking at it right now, but you can read through this, um, you're basically going to think, think about a, a fairy tale that ends with a poisoning, right? <clears throat> so we have all sorts of poisons. Some of them we've talked about, right? Some of them we haven't. Um, the list is there. But what you're going to do is pick one of those poisons, and you're going to create a story. Um, that story, as you can see here, is going to include a heroine or a hero, a villain. Um, you want to include a description of the poison, the intended juice how it was made, some of these poisons you have to prepare. They're not just like, you know, open up and use. Uh, you also want to talk about things like the point of entry, amount used, etc. cetera. Um, we've included a rubric, which basically gets into the quality of your story created, um, the poison that you've met all the requirements for uh, the poison in terms, in terms of description, using it properly, origin. So like, for example, if it's arsenic, that's a white powder. If you and your story are talking about like a, a green mushroom and you're calling it arsenic, that would that would not be a detail. That would be missing some points. The poisoning itself, how it was administered. Did you put it in their tea like Miss Creighton in the Poisoner's Handbook? Or did you do some other thing, right? Um, and you can research historical ways that poisons have been administered. Um, and then you can earn extra credit if you both write a story or do it to Flipgrid. You're only required to do one. Right, this is our first week of e-learning, so I'm going to be pretty lenient because I'm still learning the ropes. Basically, you submit either a 500 to 1,000 word story that meets these requirements on this page, or a flip grid that also meets these requirements. Um, you could do one or eat one of eat one of one or the other, or if you're feeling really, you know, overzealous or you are bored, you want to earn some extra points. You can do both for extra credit, and it'll be worth another 30 points, okay? So that is the assignment. Um, if you have any questions, my email, uh, I'll always be around for email, but let me know. And, uh, yeah, have fun, and uh, I'll see you guys online in a couple of days.